Hi everyone, it's Sarika and welcome back to the studio. So today is Vlogmas Day 4 and I gotta admit I am running on about 4 hours of sleep so that's pretty fitting. I stayed up way too late again until 2am this morning and then I woke up regular time because I don't really sleep in. I get up to let the dogs out and then by that time I'm already up and running about so it's no point in getting back into bed because then I will just waste the whole morning. By the time I let the dogs out and stretch and breathe cold fresh air, I'm pretty awake. So even though I'm running on like four or five hours of sleep and it's been that way for the past several nights, like three or four nights, I still feel pretty good. <laughs> this morning has gone pretty smoothly. I packed several orders and I finally reached the point where I'm through with all of them for the time being so that was very satisfying to get to zero outstanding orders. Okay, Ziva, I'm gonna be right back, okay? I'm gonna go mail these orders. And then I'm going to walk this doggy over here, this whiny doggy. And then I'll be right back, okay? You watch Cubby. You can do this. Don't bite him, okay? You stay. So good. Good girl, are you excited to take a walk just by yourself? We're about to take a walk in this like icy snow. I'm gonna drop off these orders I have in my backpack. And Juju was whining a lot, so I'm just gonna take her with me for a solo walk and hopefully that'll make her feel a little bit better. She's like a dog that needs a lot of exercise, so. Now we're gonna take a walk through the neighborhood and people are gonna be like, oh, it's that girl that never works and she's always at home and then sometimes she comes out and mails a lot of stuff and she talks to herself with camera. So um, let's go do that, but. Usually I have a dog with me, so it's like not too bad. The rest of the day I'm going to dedicate to preparing for a journaling workshop and this one is going to be uh, different from the kind of journaling that I usually show on the internet. Um, I'm going to be focusing on journaling to heal from traumatic events, journaling to process difficult emotions or difficult experiences um, because this is a workshop that is for under-resourced mothers who have experienced trauma and so I'm kind of st stuck on words because number one it's private of course and I need to talk about it in a very broad sense just to respect you know the program and the participants so for this episode of vlogmas since I'm going to be preparing for a workshop that I can't even record in to respect their privacy I thought I would do something a little bit different than my other vlogmas episodes I thought I would talk about my journal that I actually never show on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, never before seen. It's my kind of private journal. And so you might be wondering, why do you have so many notebooks? Well, first of all, I love notebooks, right? Don't we all? Here, that's why you're here. But the other th reason why I wanted a book like this was because I think it's important to, have, number one, as a person who posts a lot on social media, it's important to have a journal that is completely private. So I'm never ever ever going to post a photo or show any footage of this because it is for me, it is a no judgment zone. There's no restrictions, there's no, 
There's no decorations either. I don't use any stickers or washi tape or anything like that. It's just the notebook and the writing utensil. This is more about free writing. I can cuss in here, I can write emotions that I wouldn't say out loud or wouldn't share with anyone else and so this is definitely a journal that I don't want to fall into the wrong hands, I don't want anyone to read it. So that's why I keep it out of my planner. That's why I keep it out of my memory keeping journal because I find that journaling for self-healing or journaling to kind of fi find out more about yourself, I think that's a different technique, a different method of journaling for me than memory keeping and scrapbooking. And so that's how I kind of see it. And maybe that other journal there, the record of my day, maybe I don't even call it a journal, I call it my, my memory book sometimes. But of course, it's just easier to say journal. I have been keeping this sort of journal ever since I was a kid. I would write all sorts of cringy things, but again, I can't call them cringy because it's supposed to be a judgment-free zone. See, here I am, judging myself again. I'm my own worst critic. This is my most important journal, for sure. I mean, I love them all, but this helps me out the most. By the way, um, this is a lined notebook that works with fountain pens. It's a Loish term, 1917. And I usually get the A5, but this time I decided to get an A6. I finished my um, emerald A5, so I needed a new one for my, I don't know, judgment-free zone journaling. I don't really have a nifty name for it yet. It's just my private journal. <coughs> Bless you. So that's pretty much it. So that was a little bit more of a serious vlogmas video for you guys. I hope you are doing well and I will see you for tomorrow's. Bye. Well, of course we have to do a doggy montage. I don't know where Juju is right now, but here are my dogs.